everyone, Zen Guardian here, and today I'm bringing you guys some more Rise of Iron news, a couple of important updates, and a pretty big issue that has to deal with private matches. But first up, news. So most hardcore players will already know, but today Bungie will be releasing a brand new Rise of Iron trailer. Over on their official Twitter, they posted a tweet with a teaser to the trailer, letting us know it's dropping at some point today with brand new, never before seen footage, so be on the lookout for that. Now, all Guardians should be aware that private matches are now available for play in the Crucible. I have had an absolute blast playing pickup games of elimination and finding fun ways to enjoy this feature. I'm going to have some really dope videos coming up soon in some private match lobbies, so definitely be on the lookout for that. But some of you may not know that new dead ghosts are also hidden mostly in plain sight on each map. So you can pick through one of the 100 guides on YouTube to find them all, but they really aren't that difficult to spot if you just want to lone wolf it. Every single map has one, and as of now, it looks like the new Rise of Iron maps will include new ones as well, so be sure to go hunting and find them all. They also have new grimoire attached to them, so you might like that as well. For those of you still trying to complete the moments of triumph for year 2 by collecting calcified fragments, Bungie have made it really easy to do so this week. After yesterday's reset, the raid has all challenge modes available, and also the Court of Oryx has all tier 3 bosses on rotation, so it should be fairly easy getting a 335 artifact and the rest of your fragments. I know I'll be taking full advantage of the raid, mainly because I think it'll be cool to complete a full challenge mode King's Fall. Now for those of you who don't know, yesterday Bungie and MLG hosted their first official private match tourney with popular players from both Twitch and YouTube and it was an absolute blast. Looks like Alpha with Triple Wreck and Sir Demetrius took the win, so huge props to those guys, but great games all the way around. I'm super excited to see where MLG and Competitive Destiny are headed, it didn't seem to have any limiting rules and seemed to be a more true Destiny experience, so I'm very glad about that. Finally, we have a few problems with private matches. First up, some Guardians are complaining that they're getting new error codes and having a hard time queuing up in private matches, but Bungie have said they're looking into the issue. Next up, talking to all of you Xbox players out there, there doesn't seem to be an invite only option for private match lobbies, and it also looks like anyone from any of the people in your current lobby's friends list can join any ongoing match as long as there is enough room to do so. So basically what this means is if you're a streamer or you're playing with some people you don't know so well and you plan on doing a 2v2 or 3v3, anyone from any of your friends list can see that the lobby isn't full and join at any time. It looks as if this is only a problem on Xbox One, as PS4 users have the ability to lock the lobby down. It can be really stressful, especially for game battles and other lobby sensitive matters, for random people to just start joining uninvited or right when things start to get hairy. The only quick way to deal with this is to have everyone in your lobby set themselves to appear offline, that way no one can join. But I think Bungie or Microsoft really need to deal with this issue quickly because people like me who may want to play with some subscribers or really competitive players will have a tough time keeping the lobby regulated and not be joined by uninvited players. So anyways guys, that's all I have for you today as far as updates. Rise of Iron is only a few short days away, so do your best to get prepared and I'll see you on Felwinter Peak. As I said before, I have a bunch of really fun videos coming soon you won't want to miss, so make sure you turn the notifications on and be there early. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you're enjoying private matches as of now, if you have any creative ideas that you might want to see on this channel or that you've been experimenting with yourself, let me know down below and we can get to discussion. If you did enjoy the video, hit it with a thumbs up, it really does help the channel grow. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe on your way out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's been CG. I'm out.